Welcome everybody for this particular module that you'll be experiencing today. Um, it is a standalone module within the tourism chapter. The purpose of today's module is basically to give you a hands-on um, experience of how easy it is now with the influence in technology, the rise of some of these budget airlines, um, how easy it is actually for you to make a booking for a tour. So in today's experience, you will be using your digital devices to hook on to the internet to book a tour for a typical family for this upcoming Chinese New Year break. So what you see here is basically a, an advertisement for one of the key budget airlines that flies out of Singapore. Its name is Jetstar. Some of you may have had the experience of riding Jetstar. Like we mentioned earlier in the lesson for improvements in technology, Jetstar is a budget carrier. So all the um, things that you read about with regards to budget carrier apply to Jetstar. So let's do a very quick recap. Budget carriers, what is unique about budget carriers? Okay? They offer a travel service, um, frills, no frills travel service, unlike the full cost carriers. Okay? So what are full cost carriers? Those uh, airlines that offer the full flight service, meals, entertainment, things like Singapore Airlines, uh, Thai Airways, Cathay Pacific, United Airlines, these are all full cost airlines. Budget carriers like Jetstar, however, offer you the option to pay for just the seat, the seat plus baggage, the seat plus baggage plus meals, the seat plus baggage plus meal plus entertainment. So depending on how much you want to add on to your experience, the amount that you pay will increase correspondingly. So if you were in a bind and you just wanted to pay for a ticket, you didn't want to bring along a lot of stuff, Normally, the cheapest flight on a Jetstar uh, or on any of these budget carriers would only involve the price of the seat plus 10 kilos of carry-on baggage. Okay, So anything above the 10 kilos, they will charge you an excess rate which makes it um, not worth it. So if you want to cut costs, there's always the option to just pay for the seat and the 10 kilos of carry-on, bring as little things as you can Anyways, most of the time, when you're talking about budget carriers, you are most of the time trying to fly only short-haul flights. The ability to continue keeping the plane in the air continuously flying between destinations allows the carrier to earn more money per hour. It allows the carrier to spend less money with the plane having to park itself at any airport. Parking fees are exorbitant. The other area where budget airlines make massive savings is actually in terms of booking. So you do not need to go through a middleman. Everything is done online via their main website. However, it's interesting uh, to note that in the past five, six years, there has been a rise in those combination websites that will allow you to pick and choose which is the cheapest combination uh, and allow you to compare between different airlines that the website itself holds. So these websites have come up um, partially to simulate the old system where you have a tour agency but then again this is also based on the search engine model where it searches the internet for the cheapest flight for you so let's move on to the actual details for today's search okay assuming that i want to go to bangkok for chinese new year i need your help okay i have no time to do this i need to find the cheapest flight to bangkok okay i'm not bringing anything so i do not need baggage i do not need meals on my very short flight, I'll just eat a meal at Changi before I fly, have a meal once I land in Bangkok Airport. Who am I going with? Okay, so I need you to book me a ticket for three adults and one child. Now, because the system will require you to tell them how old the child is, the child that I'm flying with is eight. More details, I only want to fly economy, right? Economy and business and first class are your three classifications. The cheapest being economy, right? Remember, I just want to go for the weekend. I want to fly cheap. That's why I'm looking at budget airlines. Other details, when am I departing? I'm departing Thursday, 11 February 2021, which is next Thursday, right? The day we're having celebrations. So from a logic standpoint, if I want to leave on Thursday, I have to leave in the evening or at night. As a result, I will need you to look for the latest possible flight out on Thursday. At the same time, I do not want to fly on Friday. Okay, those midnight flights, uh, those past midnight flights on Friday, early morning Friday, no, I want the latest flight on Thursday. When do I want to return? I want to return on Monday, but I want to reach Singapore before 8 p.m. So as you're keying in the options, 
uh, you, you need to pick the options that come up. I want the flight that allows me to arrive before 8 p.m. How far before? Doesn't matter, but it must be before 8 p.m. Because I have to come to work on Tuesday, right? We have lessons? No, we don't have no lessons on Tuesday. Okay, but I want to come back on Tuesday. So these are my criteria for the booking, okay? Which airlines can you search for? I'm going to restrict your search into just these four air carriers. Um, the first three are budget carriers. The fourth one is Singapore Air, a uh, full cost carrier. Um, Singapore Air is there so that you can, as you search through, right? You take a look and you see what's the pricing difference, okay? I, um, remember, I want the cheapest option that fits my criteria. The criteria of uh, time of departure and the criteria of time of return. So, visit Jetstar, AirAsia, FlyScoot, which uh, deals with Scoot, and then finally do Singapore Air. Which sequence is totally up to you, okay? Uh, you do not need to actually go ahead and book. Actually, you don't have a credit card with you, so it's not possible to do so. Um, once we're completely done with this, I will actually show you how this can be completed. Okay, the transaction can be completed through. You just need to search for the flights and note down the cost of the flights. So I repeat my requirements once again. Three adults, one child, eight year old. Economy flights, okay. I want to depart Thursday, 11 February. The last latest flight if possible. I return Monday, 15 February uh, to reach Singapore before 8 p.m. Okay, what must you put in the padlet link as your evidence that you've done this for me? Okay, total cost of the flights name of that carrier okay don't rush you have time to complete this take your time browse through make sure you get the best fit for my criteria now there is an bone there's another task there's a bonus task after you've done this okay you've keyed in the carrier the cost of the flight that matches my criteria okay total cost huh? total cost of all four uh, tickets two ways I need you to search for another thing. Now you think about it, no trip is complete without hotel booking, right? I cannot be staying on the streets in Bangkok. So, I'm going to introduce you to another affordance of technology, okay? It's got nothing to do with the flight. It's got to do with hotel bookings, okay? So, um, the website is actually called Agoda. Agoda is a website that allows you to search for uh, hotel rooms. So, using Agoda, figure out where you can key in this hotel. This hotel's name is Heaven Might Heaven Met Silom. Right? I want to book a hotel room, two hotel rooms, okay, for the four adults. Okay, uh, ignore the ignore or oh, no, I know it was a child earlier, but in this case, I want a hotel room, two two hotel rooms, sorry, for four adults. Okay, for the same duration that I'll be in Bangkok. So I want to know how much it will cost for these two rooms for these four adults in the duration that uh, I'm in Bangkok. So add the price in, in another row, under the cost of the flight tickets in the pallet. So the pallet, once you're done with the tickets, okay, come out, go back into Agoda, um, find out the second set of details, go back in, and add it on, okay. So I will have the total cost of the trip. So total duration you have to complete this task is a maximum of forty minutes, right? Take the time to browse through, okay. Um, once you have completed the task, if you have time and access, you can continue to browse through Agoda. Okay, think about places you have visited or places that you would like to visit when, um, eventually, right? What are some of the hotels near these places? Agoda is very unique. Huh? Agoda is very unique. So this is actually one of the search screens for uh, Agoda. You can, if you don't have a hotel name, you have a location that you want to find out. You can actually key in the location, and then it becomes like a search engine. It will churn for you hotels. Um, homes that are for rent in the area that you have keyed in. Okay, so it's very very amazing. Or you can even try Singapore and let's see you and, and see whether you can find something for rent in Singapore on Agoda. So once again, right, uh, instructions are here. If you do need to, you can replay the video and listen to the instructions again, or pause it, take a look at the instructions, and continue with the task. You will have a total of forty minutes plus minus a bit. Okay, when you're done, make sure you have updated the palette. Make sure you have keyed in your name in the title of the palette so that I know who did which piece of work. Okay, we'll run through this the following lesson. All the best. Good luck. You may begin.